Hello guys, welcome for a new video, Anthony here. Today we will talk about software, not other. Did you know Linux? Normally yes, but it's possible that some of you didn't know about this operating system. It's an alternative to Windows. And today I will make my top 3 of Linux alternative of Windows. So that will be a short video here just to show you my top three of Linux alternative. I will do it with my computer. Let's go. Number three, Linux Mint. Linux Mint with the Cinnamon interface look like a little Windows. The taskbar in the down and this wonderful small start menu. We have all categories to choose your program so it's easy you can find it easily and and it's not done badly there are some applications installed but if you want to add it sure like every linux you can install it with the terminal by using command line and when you want to see it it was just here now, all of you are not friends with the command line, and I can understand that, of course. Linux Mint has the, how can I say that, the software center, where you can find all your applications. So if you want one, you can see it graphically, and choose it graphically. But it's exactly the same thing. When you will install it, it will do the same command behind, but you will not just not see it. But this is an advantage, because with Linux Mint, you, you don't have especially to know command lines to use it. There are advantage and disadvantage of Linux Mint, of course. The advantage could be that's easy to understand and it's a reactive system. But the problem of this one, there is too much program, that's personal, for me that there is too much program, and it will not replace a Windows XP. It is not so, so light then. So for a computer not so old, that's okay, but not for a very old one. Number two, Lubuntu. Not Ubuntu, Lubuntu. There is a difference, it used the LXDE interface. Very, 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 very simple. It, it, it's the it's the probably the easiest interface you can have just icons a very small button to have all your apps and only your apps and shut down the computer of course and that's almost everything same same way you can use the command line to install programs it will work as well and you can put exactly the same programs that is the same kernel that is the same linux um, for personalization, you you free. You can put it on the up, on the right, on the on the left for the taskbar, for example. Um, and application will be found again, correctly set in each categories. And if you're not familiar with the command line, the software center exists too. It looks like exactly the same as Linux Mint. That's normal. It was based on the same system. So I will search color, color paint 4 again. Let's go it. Installation is very quick and easy. Okay, so I can start it. And you see it runs. You install whatever programs you want for every Linux. It looks like a little MS Paint here. So that's a great thing. Again, for Ubuntu, there are advantage and disadvantage. Advantage, it's an extremely light OS, and there is a good support. You can find everything for Ubuntu. A problem, there are too few programs here, unfortunately. Top of the top, Debian. Here you will see the installation, but in higher speed. Installation, you're free to do whatever you want. 
If you want to make a server, you can. If you want to make a simple client post, you can. You're free to do whatever you want. It's extremely customizable. For sure, you can have more than one CDs. You can choose your language. You can say, where are you? And for where are you, you can select your best FTP server. It's important if you want to install programs because you, you need to download it from an FTP server. Another great thing is to you can select your graphic user, user interface, which one you want. It will not change anything for Debian and some services. Debian works as well as Lubuntu and Linux Mint, but this is the base, the first OS before all derivation. Here, the best way to install programs is with, via the terminal, but there is a software center too, of course. Uh, in my preference, I prefer Debian with the XFC interface. It's the most beautiful one you can have. A point where I like and dislike Debian is that it's not especially, you don't know especially what to do with it if you don't have any IDs. For Linux purists, of course, it will be easy. This is not my case. Um, it's a cool one, it's a light one. It, it didn't require especially lots of uh, lots of memory but it's cool of course there are advantage and disadvantage to use it advantage is ultra personalizable and very stable systems a problem is that the installation is not intuitive you must read everything and another problem is that it could be a client or a server at the same time. What? There are a lot of Linux available. I can say, for example, SoinOS, Kali Linux, Downsmall Linux, CentOS, Red Hat, or OpenSUSE. They are all free. All Linux are free. The three I've chosen here is the tree easier for me to use and to install and to present you. Now, it's not an obligation to use the tree I've chosen here. Of course, you do whatever you want. That's just an alternative. But think about that. If you don't especially need Windows for specific tasking, it's important Windows. I say that and I didn't dislike Windows at all. But I have no preference between Windows and Linux, honestly. I can use both for a specific reason. If I don't need to play games, I can use Linux. If I need to play games, it's better with Windows. There are not a specific option. I like both. But if you don't need Windows to pay for an operating system, and you will have largely enough with your Linux. Think about that for the next time. Guys, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, hit the like or dislike button if you like or dislike the video. Don't forget to watch all my previous video and I will catch you on the next one. Goodbye, everyone.